Well, this morning, a memorial is growing for the UPS driver killed in Thursday's deadly police chase. Throughout the day, fellow co-workers, even strangers, left little mementos for the father of two. Another vigil is set for today. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has more and the latest on the investigation into this chase from Miramar. It's a quiet night on Miramar Parkway. On the side of the street, a memorial. A shootout happened here Thursday and played out on our TV screens. Four people died that day, a UPS driver, a 70-year-old man about to retire, and the two men who caused it all. The armed suspects engaged the law enforcement, opened fire. There was exchange fire between law enforcement and the suspects, uh, and unfortunately, uh, the suspects are now deceased, but two additional innocent civilians were also deceased. Lamar Alexander and Ronnie Hill robbed the Coral Gables Regent Jewelry Store, stole 27-year-old Frank Ordonez's truck, and held him hostage. Roughly 23 miles after the carjacking and an hour later, police chased the thieves to Miramar Parkway. <laughs> Victim's family said things could have been done differently. Where was SWAT? Where was the uh, sniper? Where was the, uh, uh, the the hostage negotiator? CBS4 now connecting the dots. Our news partners at the Miami Herald say Ronnie Hill was a suspect in a car break-in at the Robert is Here fruit stand in May of last year. Both men have long rap sheets. Neither of them here to answer for their crime. UPS is scheduled to hold a small vigil for Frank Ordonez at an undisclosed location today at 7 o'clock. In Miramar, Amber Diaz, CBS4 This Morning.